Now that we are able to identify two force members and we know how they behave, let's go back and examine example 467 and see how identifying member DB as a two force member can assist in understanding this problem. If we were to not identify member DB as a two force member and identifying that there are pin joints at A and D, Drawing a free body diagram of this system, we would have four unknowns. The reactions at A in the X and Y, and the reactions in D in the X and Y. However, since this is a 2D problem, we could not determine the reactions in this from this free body. However, since this is a 2D problem, we could not determine the reactions from this free body diagram since we only have the capability to solve for three unknowns. Without identifying member DB as a two-force member, we cannot solve for the reactions at A and D. However, if we identify that member DB is a two-force member, we can eliminate one of these unknowns by knowing that the force reaction at D must point along the line of action from D to B. Therefore, the only unknown is the magnitude of the reaction at D from the pin. Identifying members as two force members in frames or structures can be critically important to being able to solve a system with, it's critically important to be able to solve a statically determinate system using equilibrium assumptions.